Well, after all that drama and excitement of the semi-final, here we are. Major milestone, our first ever final. Continental final, Gold Cup final for the Cayman Islands. And at the same time, it's my 100th game in charge of the Cayman Islands. Wow, this is just all aligning. Are we going to celebrate this 100th game and this landmark final in style? Or are we going to get completely and utterly humiliated? There's only one way to find out. Well, hello there everybody, welcome back to the channel. Dodgy Gamer here, International Manager of Mystery, Managing Obscure Nations, so you don't have to. And we're here with episode 26 of our Cayman Islands experiment, and the experiment is paying off. We're in our first ever final. We're playing Mexico in the Gold Cup final at the Los Angeles Memorial Coliseum. We're everybody's second team, and we're out there to win. We're going to bring you all the build-up. The media are writing us off. We face the impossible. Look at that. Look at those odds. Mexico, 1-4 to four odds on. Cayman Islands, 9-1. to one. You don't see odds like that in a major continental final very often. We're going to do the press conference. We're going to give you the full Monty this time. Not that kind of full Monty, if you're a fan of 90s British cinema. But uh, let's just go. We're 90 minutes away from immortality in the Gold Cup. We, how does it feel to carry the hopes of a nation? Well, matches don't become don't come bigger than this. It won't be easy. We'll go with something a bit humble. We're not going to be too braggadocious. Not yet. In all their history, Cayman Islands have never won the Gold Cup. We've never been to the final before. We've never been to the semi-final before. It's a massive challenge. It's going to make victory only the sweeter. Yeah, we haven't faced tougher challenges in the past. That would be ridiculous. We face a tough challenge. Mexico are favourites. Can the players upset the odds? We're the underdogs for a reason. Anything can happen in football. I never reveal how I'm going to instruct the boys to play. I'm not going to discuss my lineup either. You'll just have to find out like everybody else. We did suffer defeat the last time we played them, but, you know, we just want to win, whoever we play. It doesn't matter. And everyone wants to play through any tiredness, of course. Ooh, so here we are then. We're up against Mexico in excellent form. Of course, we played them twice before, I believe, if we just pull it up, the past meetings, and we've never beaten them. We've never got a point off them. Both previous times in the Gold Cup, a 3-1 defeat two years ago, and a 2-0 defeat, well, two weeks ago. Well, let's see what happens today. It's the final. Anything can happen. And this is how we're lining up. So Ribeiro in goal. Wood Roach and Ebanks Webb in the centre of the park. Wood Roach is tired, but he's the best defender. We've got Ebanks, Rivers and Cupid in the full bank position. Skeet hasn't fully recovered from that hamstring strain, but we've just got to play him. We couldn't not play him. He partners Moxham Elliott in the middle of the park. Lindo Wilson, Fagan holds his place in the team on the left flank. Rig goes out to the right wing. He hasn't played there for as often, but he's just the fittest option we've got. Solomon also hasn't quite recovered from his knock, but I can't have both him and Skeet starting, I think, so we'll keep Solomon on the bench. Connolly plays up front. Williams is probably the best option we've got out of our experienced players in terms of someone who's fit and ready to go. Coleman as well. So if we need to chase the game, we need a bit more pace and fresh legs up front. Those are our go-to guys. Also, tactically, we're unchanged because in that first game against Mexico, we kind of adjusted the tactics a bit. We went a bit more conservative and, you know, it didn't work. We didn't create anything. So we're going for... Just our normal style of play, something the players know and they're comfortable with, and hopefully we'll kind of take it to Mexico a bit. We're not going to say the pressure's off. We're the underdogs. Let's go out there and cause an upset. We'll tell Connolly that we've got faith in him. Just a young lad. He's been kind of thrown into this tournament, but he, he's coped well. He scored a goal, and hopefully he can get some more today. So here come the teams marching out, lining up here. And ready to go. And we start with a corner for the Cayman Islands. 
But no, it's cleared by Mexico, and they're on the break already. It's Mora. Oh, we got hopeful for a dream start there. Ribeiro saves it, and now the Mexicans have a corner. We haven't, we're not even two minutes in yet, and the corners are already racking up. But we've managed to deal with it. That's good. I think we managed to deal with it. Yes, we won the free kick. So we got that initial scare over. What are we going to do for the next 85 minutes? Right, Mexico then with the throw-in trying to get it out of their defence. They nearly give it away, but the long ball over the top comes to Vera. Ribeiro saves again. Almost a carbon copy of the previous chance. And a corner for Mexico. The header just goes over. That was one of those where <laughs> the advertising board changed just as the header was hit. And, oh, a free kick for us in a dangerous position here. It's Skeet. Hands on hips. We're going to do it as well. Just like we did for the penalty before. Oof, just wide. That was a good, good chance. Well, we've already had two more chances than we had in the initial game in the group stage. So that's a good sign. Hopefully. Oh, Skeet's picked up a yellow. Another one. His third yellow of the tournament. Well, hopefully we, you know, we can sneak something here. We've got two players bearing down on the goalkeeper. That shows the commitment. They almost had the goalkeeper make a mistake, but not quite. And now Vera. Ribeiro, he's, he just, he's just a magnet for the ball today. He's just standing there. Hit me with it, he says. And, <laughs> you know, it's working. So, you know, well done to him. Anyway, Trevino now. Hopefully Mexico don't get something here. They head over. We've got to frustrate the Mexicans, just like we did with the Americans in the semi-final. Well, we've made it to half-time. Unscathed. It's nil-nil. We've had a yellow card for Emerson Ski. Only the three shots from us, but... We've had a bit, our fair share of the ball. Mexico obviously have got the more quality up front. Wow, Ricardo Ribeiro is looking self-assured as he's just like, yeah, hit me, boys, hit me. Skeet not having a great game. He's on a 6.3. He's obviously struggling with that injury. Wood Roach, I'm being told by my assistant manager, needs to come off as well. But I can't take both of them off. Two of our best players. Keep it up, boys. That's all we can say at this point. I'm not going to criticise Skeet for having a poor game when he's limping around with a necked up hammy. Anyway, um, let's just get out there. We don't we don't need to overthink this too much. Let's get out there and just hope we can sneak something. 93,000 fans in attendance. This is a huge game for the Cayman Islands. Rig has picked up a yellow now as well. Oh, he's having a mare on a 6.1. We're going to have to do something about that. Right, so Swanson Whitelock comes on on the right. Rig can come off. That's all he deserves today. I'm going to leave Skeet and Woodroach on for now. I mean, Woodroach is tired, but he's having a good game. He's got a 7.0. He's marshalling that defence nicely. Should I make another substitution now? I mean, Lindo Wilson's not having the best of games, but we'll give him a little bit longer. Let's give him a little bit longer. We'll make another substitution in about 10 or 15 minutes. Right, we're going with Neville Coleman coming in for Lindo Wilson. Neville Coleman, injection of pace in an attacking role. We're going to stick with Skeet and Woodroach. They're both tired. They're both injured on yellows. But they're both playing pretty well. So, you know, best players, we've got to keep them on the pitch. We've got to tell the team, get a bit creative in this final five minutes. I think, are we heading to extra time yet again? It looks like it. Four minutes of stoppage time. Nothing yet in the way of highlights. And extra time beckons. Very quiet second half, has to be said. So in the team talk, we've got to tell the team, I mean, boys, you, you let's, let's go with that. Everyone should dig in. We deserve to win this match. We've got to think positive. So let's get out there and do something. We've got to watch out for the players on yellows. Woodroach, Ebanks, Rivers and... Poor old Emerson Skeet has run himself into the ground here. But we'll go out unchanged. We'll look at we'll look at a substitute at half time in extra time. But let's see, are we actually going to get any action before then? No is the short answer. It's been a long tournament. Both teams are tired, of course. So who have we got that in the sweltering in the heat? Who have we got that we can bring on? Should we pull Skeet off? He's, he's on 40% conditioning. 
Oh, Wood Roach is on 45, but Skeet's our penalty taker. It's a tough call. It's a tough call. I'm almost tempted, almost tempted to put uh, Solomon on. But no, we'll resist that temptation. Klein Williams could come on for Fagan, but Fagan, he's the man. He's been doing it throughout the tournament for us. I'm going to put on Jamal Rowe for Moxham Elliott, because Jamal Rowe would normally start, just he was a bit tired out after that USA game. So Jamal Rowe, hard-working midfielder, is going to come on. Could we see a penalty shootout here? That's what I'm starting to think now. But, oh, finally, a highlight. After all this time, we've finally got a highlight, and it's Mexico going for their long ball football, and Vera is through, and it's a save again from Ribeiro, and Ebanks Rivers prevents the corner. Fantastic play and commitment from the Cayman Islands defence there. Come on, boys. Well defended. <sighs> Tense. And now it's our chance. It's our time. The cross comes in. Oh, Fagan. Fagan has been the hero of the tournament and he almost put his name into the history books there. Fantastic chance. And now it's Mexico up the other end. Ooh, the shot saved. It's headed out by Wood Roach. And now, oh, it's, it's going to be a tense finish to this game. A tense nil-nil game. I'm sure for the neutrals it's been an incredibly boring final. But my heart rate is through the roof. Are we going to go to penalties? Oh, it looks like it. Penalties it is. Right, so Skeet's going to step up first. Then Ron Connolly, Neville Coleman, Wood Roach and Fagan. We're going to let him write the fairy tale. Maybe. Roe is our backup. Oh, let's see. All the tension of a penalty shootout here after a nil-nil final. Mexico go first and it's saved! It's saved! Oh my lord! Skeet now! Can Skeet capitalise? He's injured, he's tired, but he's done it. Advantage Cayman Islands, but still a long way to go in this penalty shootout. Now it's Vera. Let's see, what can Spaghetti Legs do in the goal, Ribeiro, but straight down the middle. 1-1, one, one. Connolly looking to restore our advantage. Young striker, new to the squad, and the pressure got to him. His shot's tipped around the post. Now it's level 1-1, one, one. two penalties apiece. Trevino makes it 2-1, advantage Mexico. Now Coleman has to score. Come on, Coleman, you can do it. We believe in you, Coleman. Yes, yes, 2-2. Two, 2-2, two. Two, two. it's level. After three penalties each, now it gets really tense. Here comes Gonzalez, and he scored. The Mexicans don't miss those. Wood Roach now, Wood Roach. Oh, he's knackered as well. One of our star players, and he scored. Wow, no doubt at all. Confidently put away. Final penalty of the normal five for Mexico. It's Becerra, and he scored. Ooh, big penalty now for Fagan. He has to score to keep the Cayman Islands' dream alive. He's been the star this tournament. Scored seven goals, is it, for us? And now he takes the final penalty to keep us in this, to keep us in with a chance. Is he going to do it? Yes. Oh, Fagan, you beautiful man. Masias now. Miss. Masias. Miss. No, he didn't miss. 5-4, Jamal Rowe up next. Can Jamal Rowe keep us in it? It's sudden death. If he misses, that's it. Mexico win yet again. If he scores, we go another round of penalties. Oh, this is tough. Come on, Rowe. Come on, Rowe. Cool head. Ah, oh, such a shame. Such a shame. Mexico celebrate. I have to console the players in the dressing room. Oh, that's a tough one, isn't it? Ah, oh, we got so close. And when they missed their first penalty, we just dreamed. We had that dream for... Just for a moment. Oh, well. Of course we tell the team. That was a fantastic performance. 
nothing specific to say to you right now. See you in training. We'll go with that. Hold your heads high, boys. Don't worry about the result. Oh, well, we made a final. We didn't lose in normal time. We didn't lose in extra time. Only on penalties. Now we're up to 64th place in the world. Deserved. Has to be said. Deserved. So Mexico lift the gold cup. Roe, he's got to pick up the pieces in his career now. We'll be there for him in that. Cayman Islands must build on the Gold Cup. Well, the North American Nations League is going to be the perfect place to do that. Ribeiro was man of the match. The uh, FA are delighted with our showing. And the Gold Cup review, we were, of course, the overachievers. And somehow, I don't know how, but Granada USA, a nil-nil, was the best match of the tournament. And Kuma Fagan, top scorer in the tournament with seven goals. Absolutely fantastic. So, of course, Cayman FA have sent me a message to say how impressed they are, as they should. Let's have a look. Do we feature anywhere in the awards, in the press conference? I said, you know, we're going to be motivated to come back next time. We'll hold a team meeting at this point and we'll say um, nobody was expecting us to win the whole tournament. We didn't underachieve. No, scrap that. We didn't set the world on fire. You've all done yourself proud over the last couple of weeks. Well done. Exactly the sort of reaction I was after. Off you go. So here we go. Nguma Fagan with eight goals in this calendar year. Top scorer for Cayman Islands in the calendar year. Ribeiro with six clean sheets. Best ever keeper. Fagan. MVP award. Well done, son. Well done. Four appearances, seven goals and two assists and an 8.48 rating. He also wins the Golden Boot as top scorer. And Ebanks Webb won the Best Rookie Award at the tournament as well with his four appearances. He scored a goal, of course. And we got some players in the Best eleven: Ebanks, Rivers and Fagan and Ribeiro. The rest of the team is Mexican. I'm just having a look at my profile, see if anything's been done for my reputation there. We're on 45%. Media handling's high. Uh, I guess you just don't quite get the same depth here as you would in the club game. Interestingly, in contrast, if you've watched my Andorra Andorra series, I recently shared my profile there where for some reason my level of discipline was listed as 21 and here it's only one. Go figure. So where do we go from here? Well, we go to the Nations League Division A where we face Canada and Trinidad and Tobago. So what I'm thinking now is we'll just go through the, we'll go through the opening Nations League. Probably in the next episode will feature, although they're separated by a month, will feature the second game against Canada and the second game against Trinidad and Tobago and see if we can carry this form over because, you know, we've beaten Trinidad and Tobago quite comfortably here. If we can do that again, if we can get results against Canada, we could have a bit of a run in the Nations League. And finally, we'll just have a look at Fagan without a club. I just want to see it uh, doesn't look like anyone's interested at the moment. Well, hopefully that MVP award is going to help him out. We will see. Do let me know down in the comments what you thought of a Gold Cup run. If if you believed to, if you thought at one point that we were actually going to do it. Um, but we'll march on. Nations League, more Gold Cups, another World Cup coming up. We'll see how far we can take it. I think we'll probably we'll go to the next World Cup at least, and then we'll, we'll review where everything is at from there. We've already bettered the experiment by getting out of the group at the World Cup and making a Gold Cup final. So we've proven that we're better than the AI. Um, but, you know, we've still there's still things to achieve with this team, I feel. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Please hit that like button. If you've enjoyed today's episode, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. I'm Dodgy Gamer. See you again soon.